Hey there and welcome to my opinion on. In this weekly series I'm telling you my opinion on, you know, every kind of topic that comes to mind in today's society. And yeah, just hope you guys enjoy listening to it. As I said in previous episodes, if you have any kind of topic you want to have discussed in this, you know, weekly episode, just leave it in the comment section and I will consider it. But please just leave, you know, real topics, not something like my opinion on onions or something like that, because that you know, would be ridiculous. So, okay, this week we got war as, you know, <laughs> the topic. So, war is a, you know, kind of obvious topic if you think about that I'm playing first-person shooters. So, <laughs> yeah, it was time to do that. So, you know, first of all, there are different kinds of war. I think we can all agree on that. There are religious wars, there are civil wars, there are just international wars so between nations. And, yeah, I think those those wars cover almost every kind of war there is, so, <laughs> yeah. So, the first thing, religious wars. I, I never understood the point of a religious war. You know, don't get me wrong, I don't think there is no god or something like that. But I just don't think that, you know, one god or one belief in a god would be better than another one. So, you know, killing yourself over the question if... I don't know, if God is the real God, or if Allah is the real God, or if Buddha is the real God. I know Buddha is no God, but you know what I mean. So, killing yourself over some kind of faith or belief, it, it, that's just stupid for me. You know, and I know that there were religious wars in history where they just uh, thought about, you know, details. One said, okay, there were 12 apostles. Apostles? How, what were they called? Okay, take another example. One said Jesus walked over water, and the other one said no, he walked over... He was flying in the air. So, and then, bam, they killed themselves because of that. And that's just stupid, and that example was made up. But yeah, so you get what I mean. So, this is just stupid. Why would you kill yourself because of that? No, you don't wage war because of that. No, you shouldn't. The next thing, civil wars. You know, these are the kind of only wars I can understand and I would, you know, support in some way. You know, if there is a government that's oppressing its people, I think it's every people's duty to, you know, wage war on them, just to get rid of them, kill them all, whatever. You know, you shouldn't kill them all, but you get the point. So, if there's, you know, if there are people that are oppressed by the government, I think they should start a revolution and get rid of them. Because, you know, that's, you know, that's kind of the point of democracy and stuff like that. Or not even, not only democracy, it's just, that's the way it should be. The masses should control their government and not the government should oppress the people. That's just, yeah. <laughs> it happened a couple of times in history and I think it should happen again because there is so much wrong in so many countries But that's another topic So as I said civil wars is the thing I can understand and I think most Americans will agree that civil wars are Kind of necessary sometimes if you want to get rid of something like slavery, you know, this, this little details there So <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry that it wasn't uh, meant as an offense and yeah, the last thing is wars between countries. You know, if, you know, the US, <laughs> most of my subscribers are from the US, so you probably know that you are having uh, many wars out there. You know, Afghanistan, Iraq, um, and I don't know. I think the US is probably, you know, in 20 wars or something like that. I know that Germany is fighting in 16 wars at the moment. That are a lot of wars. Uh, if you can't even name 16 wars on this planet, but there are so many wars going on on this planet. Civil wars and other wars, religious wars, and of course wars between nations. So, <laughs> yeah, and some any, in any way, any country is somehow involved in that, and that's just weird. And I just don't get why you would attack a country if it doesn't attack you. So, <laughs> you should probably, countries shouldn't attack themselves. That's just pointless for me. You know, if, I don't know, if, uh, okay, let's get an example, if Russia would fall into Germany, so they would, you know, overcome, uh, they would conquer Germany, I can understand if the US and France and England and I don't know which countries would have a big enough army, would, you know, attack Russia because of that. That's understandable, I can understand that, okay, but I just wouldn't get why Russia would attack Germany if it 
didn't do anything to him. So <laughs> I, I think we should be evolved enough to solve our conflicts without war. That's it's yeah. I don't know why we. It's the 21st century. We should be smart enough to solve, you know, every kind of issue we have without war. But the thing is, and that's one thing I've always wondered about. You know, so many times when I see people arguing against war, they are arguing against the soldiers. And for me, that's just wrong. It's it's wrong and you shouldn't do that. Saying something like a soldier is a murderer or something like that. I think that's, that's just wrong. You know, I don't know that many soldiers. I, I think I know two soldiers. And, you know, they are just doing their jobs. They're following orders and they are sent to places on this planet that are basically hell on earth. You know, they they have a constant threat to their lives and to their health over their head. And it's just, yeah, they could die any second. And they are doing this because they want to protect their family and their country and probably their freedom too. And yeah, they want to protect. And you know, no, it's, it's another thing. I think if you are a soldier, you are not... In in the moment you are fighting, you are not really fighting for you know freedom or morals or whatever or your country. I think you are fighting for bare survival and for the guy next to you. So I think that's kind of he heroic. You know they are not all heroes in in that sense, but I think defending the guy standing next to you that's that's just a great and a brave thing. So I think they are just doing their job, they're doing the right thing there, and if they are fighting for the wrong reasons, you know, if their government sends them somewhere just because of a resource or something like that, that's not their fault. So you shouldn't argue against soldiers because, as I said, they're just doing their jobs. And I think most of the time they're doing kind of a good job, I don't know, they, yeah, <laughs> they don't kill that many civilians and, yeah, they, they just do their job, so that's totally fine and so that's my thing I don't think you should argue against soldiers they are doing what they have to do in order to protect their lives and I think a real soldier you know will always stop if his morals or his ethics are threatened by his orders you know I don't think there is there may there might be one or two soldiers in every uh, what what are they called platoon I don't know but I think there might be one or two soldiers in, in any platoon that might be able to kill a child or something like that but I think 99% of all soldiers on this planet wouldn't be able to kill a child so if they are ordered to kill a child or to bomb a school or something like that you know I don't think they would do it and that's just the thing. You should blame the people giving those orders, not, you know, bl uh, blame the people that follow the orders. Because sometimes they can't see what they are doing because they don't have the, 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 the big picture. They can't see that. So, yeah, I kind of exaggerated <laughs> on the topic. This isn't about war anymore. This is some kind of soldier, you know, honor thing. So I'll probably name this War and Soldiers. I don't know. But, yeah. So, what's your opinion on war, on soldiers, and stuff like that? Please leave it in the comment section below. Leave a rating, really help me out. Share this video, like, and favorite, and whatever you can do with these videos today. I don't know. And, as I said, please leave an to uh, a topic in the comment section below, because I'm running really low on topics here. It's kind of hard. And, yeah, this really helped me out. And, yeah, tell me what you thought about the episode. So that was it. I hope you enjoyed it. And see you next week. And next week's my opinion on I'm Lost Link signing out.